Yes, it is one of the largest immigration raids in U.S. history. Yesterday, ICE agents raided several food processing plants in Mississippi and arrested almost 700 people. The children of undocumented workers were reportedly left homeless, many of them walking home from school, and some were forced to spend the night in a local gymnasium. Take a look. I need my dad for me. <laughs> my dad didn't do nothing. He's not a criminal or something. That's what immigrants took them. Please let him free. <laughs> it's hard to watch. I mean, what do we do, Jeff? I mean, we know immigration is complicated. We know that that little girl is right. Her father is not a criminal, but he did, according to these ICE agents, enter this country illegally. Right. But then again, how do you separate asylum seekers, people that are here to work, here to better our economy, from people who are hurting our economy? I mean, we, d we can't separate these children from their parents. What right. do we do here? I don't know. It's terrible. You know, it's terrible. I don't know what the solution is, but 700 people, that's like a, that's, that's, enough to make a small town thrive right. and they're all illegal so they're right. taking jobs away from American workers that could have worked there and shame on this company for having 700 illegal workers because they're probably not paying them the same minimum wage right. that they would pay American There's workers. There's an abuse there. Absolutely they're you taking exploit, advantage of that. You exploit yes. individuals yes. like that. But so separating them from their children I don't think is the answer but I don't know what is. And now I, I, just to provide additional context yeah. according to witnesses that were there they said that the ICE agent said we will reunite with your parents very very quickly, we're going to expedite this process, especially if you, you're, you as a child are American citizen. Uh, this is just the process we have to go through. They've said that before. I know they have yeah. said that before. I know there's been scrutiny and criticism attached to those statements right. that have been falsehoods. Right. Um, but again, where do we go from here? Well, we, I, here's the thing. As Jeff said, it's complicated, and I think we we can't just write a policy bill. Here's what we know not to do: this, right? Like this is not I an American thing to do. So. Any parent, whether you're a Republican, a Trump person, anybody, if you don't care about politics, she said, I need my dad by me. Any human being can understand that. So I don't think this is the way. Now, do we deport people? Absolutely. Do we make a strong border? Absolutely. But you don't separate. This is not the way we do it. Yeah, and it's such a complicated issue. But one thing, this shouldn't be anything that just sprung up on us. They've been talking about these ice raids for a couple months now, but then they've been play, put on hold. So I'm hoping that the families, maybe they put some sort of system in place to say, hey, to a neighbor, like, hey, can you watch over my kid just in case something like that happened? Because they were would, left in a gym to yeah, cry themselves to sleep. I would like to see some sort of legislation because it's not, uh, that uproar or that outcry that we're going to have, it's not going to make ice, ra uh, ice agents not go out and, and have these raids. So I'm just it hoping might. that there's some sort of legislation. It might. There's, you know, you can know. you can do ankle monitoring monitoring where you don't have to separate a child from their parents so there are other there are other avenues you can make sure that there's a lot of legal aid for those families in need i know together rising is great at that yeah. so there are productive things that you can do where you're still tackling the situation but doing it in a humane and compassionate way at i hope that both attorneys. sides yeah. of the of the aisle can agree to do that because you're still handling the immigration uh, process but doing it without separating a child many of them american yeah. citizens from their parents. So put some sort of legislation put uh, put forth I, sh to I sure watch hope over the so. Kids, right? We need yeah. to we need to yeah. figure this out though. We really do. That that poor little girl. Mm -hmm. I, it's just abhorrent. Please write in DBL Nation. We want to hear from you too.